yeah. the tomb of Dumbledore. But this is not the lake where it was filmed. Like, like this is the little island where there's the tomb. But then they, during the editing, they they put this they island. They digitalized the island and other lake. Exactly. But this is the tomb. These are the trees. <laughs> 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 I spent hours searching the exact island which was it and I couldn't find anything just the name of the island but for Google Maps it didn't show me where the island was so if you want to come here guys the lake is Loch Elite and coming from Fort William Williams yep. Fort Williams uh, you need to pass the Glenfinnan viaduct hint of what we're going to say <laughs> and uh, you pass that one it's always straight you have on the left this lake Loch Elite. you go towards the end and we park the car just close to the street we'll leave the coordinates coordinates mm -hmm. coordinations Co coordinates those ones on the comments <laughs> so you know where we parked arthur and then just by walk it's yeah meters. if you know what we are talking about you will find the, the right spot i mean it's him. It's it's heat. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to watch the movie so badly right now. We need to have a projector. We need to set up everything with Arthur. We need to have pizza. We need to have a beer. We need to have everything set up with for Harry. And then look at it. So prepare yourself. We stopped by this lake for the night and just before dark we heard a sound of a train, of the train. You know when something happens and you didn't plan it at all? Actually, we had no idea the train passed there, but it happened and will remain one of the most beautiful memories ever. Today is a day, the day I've been dreaming of for years. But first, we're admiring this amazing sunrise over the mountains. Good morning. <laughs> I'm still shaking. Nothing bad happened. I just want to advise you. We just parked to go and see one of the most known things for Harry Potter here in Scotland. And I'm literally shaking because we are here literally three hours. Go and check Nala. We're here Nala. three hours earlier, so wow. it's 10 to 8. We came here because we wanted to find a parking spot. I spent the entire evening yesterday to find a spot where there weren't signs of no parking or just no private properties. And we found one. We came here early to ensure that we could find it because it's literally 500 meters from the start of the path to go and see this place. Ah! So now we packed pack everything and we're going there. And I cannot wait. We're going. I So freaking excited. I've spent days looking for the exact path um. to go up because I, I wasn't sure and I wanted to get the best point of view for the viaduct. Well, now you saw what it is, but. Um, and it was so <laughs> it was so difficult to find the exact spot where to enter but this is our advice like if you want to go and park to the visitor center you can find it on google maps but it's like six or eight pounds for motorhomes and i think three or three pound fifty for cars and then the gate where we entered is the beginning of the path like this is what i found so i hope that it's correct there is where you have to enter by foot and that will bring you to the viaduct and then up to the viewpoint oh my <laughs> arm <laughs>
And something that I've read online is that here you must need the midge's hat, the one with the net, because it's impossible otherwise during summer because you need to come here earlier, you need to get your spot if you are a huge Harry Potter fan. But look, no midges, no midges. Like we got, I think the only day truly with the, with the sun. And there are no midges, we brought some things because we don't have the the major's hat, but we brought other things. Wow! Now you know where we are going. Well, wasn't it obvious? There are two times of the day when the Jacobite train passes in the same direction as in the Harry Potter movies, at 10.45 a.m. and at 1.30 p.m. To reach the high viewpoint, you must follow the sign Viaduct Trail and Viewpoints, where you'll pass under the viaduct and then up until you'll see some sort of terracing. If the train is on time, it can also stop to allow people to admire it and take photos, but it wasn't the case today. This is the spot where we'll be waiting for the Jacobite train to come. So beautiful guys, it's so beautiful. I truly recommend you coming here. You know, even if there are so many people, but the experience of living it, it's it's unique. So definitely come here. But I wanna come here again. <laughs> see it more times. Today. No, to no. See no. the next one. In, in every season. Yeah. <laughs> incredibly beautiful like it's it's an emotion that lasts for a few seconds because online I read that it stopped if it was on time it was actually on time maybe just a few minutes late but it didn't stop unfortunately so it's just a matter of seconds that you truly realize what is happening that the train is passing but my heart was beating so fast like since I, I was trying to hear only the sound of the train amongst the so many people that, that were there and my heart was beating and as soon as I saw it I I envisioned everything and I started crying and I got really so emotional. Our next and last location here in Scotland was not so far away and it said it's in one of the most beautiful landscapes in the country. I can truly understand why. The weather is still amazingly beautiful. Now we are going to our second location of this west discovery part to the Harry Potter theme places. And it's something that we actually don't know what to expect because we just have seen random photos 
and found also, it. We read that there is that there isn't this thing that we are going to see. There isn't. That there isn't. Okay, so now we'll discover it together because we have we we are not so sure, but we will discover it together. So literally few things of this place and knew even less. What we only knew is that here was recorded some scenes of the Hagrid's hut. So we came without having many expectations because we saw photos of the hut, we saw photos of just nature and I'm confirming you guys that there's just nature here, there's no hut. But we've read some things now and it said that they removed everything after recording the movies because they didn't want to leave any trace but that you can still feel the vibe of like, the aura of the movies. But this is the location, now I'm showing you there is a photo that corresponds exactly to this location when they are killing the Hippogriff. The, uh, hippogriff, hippogriff. And it's exactly here. Plus there are some forests around where probably it's when they came back in time and Hermione helped save them by hiding inside the forest. Also, they recorded here the Prisoner of Azkaban, Order of the Phoenix and Half-Blood Prince here. So it's, well, pretty, it's pretty cool. Yeah, there's not much to see. It's not just nature, but yeah. it's worth it. It's totally worth it. So let's go and see this place here that we found. And it's all going up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the background, guys. This is the mountain, and they were standing approximately here. There are so many emotions <laughs> in these. <laughs> that one over there. It's in the background where Hermione punches Malfoy. Malfoy, Draco Malfoy. Now I have another photo of where Hagrid's hut was actually built and where they recorded for the third movie. And now I think where it is. So let's go and see if it's there. I'm standing on top of it. So here is where there was Hagrid's hut that they took down but it was exactly this part and what I showed you earlier of the forest that we thought it's where Hermione, Ron and Harry hid when they came back in time it was exactly this one because here there was Hagrid's hut and you can see it it was let me show you a little bit more it was actually here it was here with the forest over there and that view in the back. It, it's just too much. It's just too overwhelming. And I'm, oh, I'm so damn happy to see everything coming into reality after years of being a huge fan of it. I cannot even describe it right now. gets me emotionally. I'm honestly so emotional and you guys might laugh at me but if, <laughs> if you're a huge fan and you come here and see these places as it was in the movie you can understand me. Yes. It's just so If I can just stop crying, this is the end of the Harry Potter series in Scotland from this beautiful place. I don't know why. <laughs> we have three more things to see from Harry Potter, but these will be in England. So 
this is what we can see in Scotland. Actually, we want to come back because we want to research even more of things that, that could be in here in Scotland. So we will come back. But for now, this is it. And we'll see you with the Harry Potter videos in England. Cannot wait. Woo!